Here's another good way to load test this electrostatic motor, this Corona motor that I built. And uh, it is a design by Olav Jefferminko, but it's also a design by Brasilio 2008. Uh, Rimstar Ore got involved. Um, Laser Saber, a bunch of us are now involved in this. And uh, um, what I'm doing here is I put a ring magnet on the end of the shaft. That's a neodymium north-south magnetized on the outside ring magnet. That's an induction coil, a uh, pickup coil that I, I call Maggie. You've seen her in many, many videos. And the way she works is when that magnet goes around, makes her eyes light up and shows that she's picking up a, uh, a transference, uh, a transfer of energy from the magnet spinning mechanically to a coil of wire, which turns into electricity makes her LED eyes go. This was the real find right here. This is a buck DC to DC converter. Uh, backup CPU turned me on to it. And uh, um, you go over to his channel and you can find out uh, the information on that. He has an excellent video on this uh, voltage regulator for a power supply. And that uh, you just take a wall outlet transformer and you feed into it or a battery and this allows you to adjust not only the voltage but you can see the amperage at the same time and you can preset it and uh, it, it drops voltage down from 40 to 3 volts uh, you've got a 3 amp on down capability with this and I have this set for 12 volts at 50 milliamps uh, the uh, transformer that I'm using is a 500 milliamp 12 volt transformer that will put out about 14 and a half volts. Um, I have it all set up here to go. You've got some LED lights to help you see what's going on and let me show you what's happening. This is the uh, negative ion generator. You can get it on eBay. It's not 10 kV. It's 4 to 6 kV. I was mistaken. Uh, it is a 12 volt uh, operated device and makes this electrostatic motor go. Okay, here we go. Let me turn this on. This is set for 12 volts at 50 milliamps maximum. Electrostatic motor is going. Ring magnet is turning. And here will come the uh, LED lights on Maggie. Make them come on a little brighter. There we go. Now what's going on here is it's running at 12 volts at 39 milliamps. And that's the motor running off of that uh, negative ion generator. Now I'm going to boost this on up to the maximum here. And like I say, it's about uh, 14 and a half volts. And that's the maximum it'll put out, that wall outlet transformer. And there's the motor running. Ring magnet going and the load. You hear that sound? It's, it's like a hissing sound. At night with the lights off you see a thin blue line where these um, blades are. It's really really neat to see that uh, corona. Now if I take her away, if I take the load away, this is going to speed up quite a bit. And that's about as much as I want to push that little motor. Um, I'm overdriving the little ion generator with that voltage, but uh, it does work. And my amp draw at that point there is 43 milliamps. 
Okay, now I'm going to take this thing here. I'm going to load the motor down again. Almost stop it. And that's with the uh, coil loading down that magnet. You hear the motor slowing down. But this will continue to run even at that low RPM with that load. It's just greatly reduced in RPM. But check this out. My amp draw has not altered. There's my voltage, 14.3. There's my amp draw. And I have this preset at 50 milliamps, so if it ever goes over 50 milliamps, it just shuts off. Very, very handy little device. I wish I'd had this for years and years and years. Uh, go to Backup CPU uh, here at YouTube and uh, check out uh, his excellent video on this uh, converter and where to get it. Let me rev this up one more time. And that's where I am with the uh, Corona Motor Project. Thanks for watching.